Hey everyone, it is Tia here with I'm Kim. And we are continuing on the topic of vulnerability and adding in another piece. And so we're going to start off with a quote from Brené Brown. Belonging is so primal, so necessary. The threat of losing your tribe or going alone feels so terrifying as to keep most of us distance from the wilderness most of our lives. And so that quote for me, and you can share what it means for mm. you, is kind of comes into that vulnerability piece because to be vulnerable means we really want to belong, but oftentimes people want us to fit in. And so yes. we're not in the wilderness mm. because we're fitting in and connecting in a way that's not deep and pri that primal, right? It's that primal aspect. Yeah. And the threat of losing your tribe, how many of us have felt that and going alone is really terrifying. And this path of coming back to your true self, finding your true north is lonely at times. Yeah. It's really lonely. And then going back and forth. So then you distance yourself from that wilderness, the wilderness of the unknown, the wilderness of your coming back to your authentic self. That's how I, I take that in. And so being vulnerable means stepping into that wilderness because it's so unknown because we don't know how to do that. Yeah. And I feel like sometimes when I'm going into the wilderness, I just want to quickly run back into my little <laughs> comfortable because it's hard, right? As you said, we're walking yes. alone and either being in the arena, like we shared in the last episode or walking in the wilderness <clears throat> is not for the weary, right? It no. is, you need to be strong hearted to be able to do those two things. Exactly. <clears throat> And, and how many times have you seen someone who touches it and then retreats back? Yeah. All I the know. time, you know, cause you know, someone may, we talked about how being vulnerable and someone can't meet you there all the time. Yeah. And so for some people it's a one and done. <laughs> I know. I feel like if I'm to compare it also to putting my hand on the stove, right? Mm. So if I take that risk to be vulnerable with another and I put my hand on the stove and I get burned, you know, I will, I have throughout my life, I have got gone back and done it again and again, right? There'll be this, like, sometimes this lag time almost where, okay, I put my hand on the stove, got burned. And then I have to go back and like retreat. And it takes me a while before I'm ready to put my hand you know, to go back out there. Right. I'm not going right. to put my hand on that same stove. Maybe it's a different one. Yeah. But, um, it's, it's tough. It's, it's really hard. It is really hard. And I think it's also remembering that you have to belong to your, you know, and Brené talks about it, belonging yeah. to yourself first. Yeah. Because if we're looking to the other to complete us, we're never going to feel like we belong. If we're always looking, just going to be fitting in. Right. If you're looking on the outside mm -hmm. and what's so incredibly hard to witness is a majority of our society out there scouring, you know, the earth, scouring the right. land to, to try to belong, but they're really just fitting in. And, you know, I think about college kids, particularly high school kids. We talked about this before middle school, you know, middle school, just engaging in high risk behavior yeah. because at the core of it, at the very, very core, mm -hmm. what they are wanting is to be truly seen. They want to be, they are trying to find their tribe because mm -hmm. it's more terrifying to be alone so than, so they'll just go ahead and engage in that high risk mm -hmm. behavior to feel a feel like they belong, but it's right. just fitting in. Right. And it's that, I mean, you hear that quote, I don't remember the specifics, but it's like, you can be alone. What is it? Lonely versus yes. alone. Yes. So you can be in a group of people and feel incredibly lonely. Yes. And that is when you're not with your tribe, I you know, know, so doing all these activities that don't align with you to try to fit in and find people, but you know, inherently they don't work for you. And these aren't your people, but you're so desperate yeah. to fit in. And if you don't have other options at that moment, you'll, I mean, that's human nature, right? To try to be in community even if the community isn't healthy for you. Right. And we do hear, 
we do hear that voice, right? Oh, yeah. Of this doesn't <laughs> feel right. And we hear it very loudly when we're, when we're younger, but right. then you start to kind of hush that voice. And that voice is mm-hmm. the inner knowing it is the true, no- yes. it is the true North. Like that's saying, this doesn't feel right for me, this behavior, this community, this person, this relationship, but because of this quote, and that's why this quote is so profound Mm -hmm. that it, and I go back to saying, it's incredibly sad to watch, including myself. I mean, I I've done it my whole life. That need, that primal need to belong is so incredibly strong. Like, right. yes, I do feel like first and foremost, we need to be connected to ourselves, our truest selves, because when we cut off there, yeah, when we cut off from our truest self, we're lost there in and of itself. Completely. And you're going to do things and connect to people who aren't healthy for you. Exactly. Or become someone you aren't are. You are not. The masks. Tr- right. The masks, all the masks completely. And... And even if you are able to come back and connect to yourself, and a lot of times you're on a, you know, this, if you're um, connecting to yourself, you may still be in this tribe of people who aren't. So then you yeah. feel like an alien, like, <laughs> yes, you we can talked feel, about that. <laughs> right. You can feel like an alien because they just don't get, mm-hmm. you know, in order to really reconnect with yourself, you're doing the inner work like we talk about right. throughout all our podcasts, you're going inward, you're awakening, you're doing, you're talking deep, you're going deep. And, and it's hard. And it's hard. And painful and lonely. And lonely. And in, At times. in my, yeah, exactly, exactly. In my case, I feel like a majority of the people in my inner circle are not. And this does go full circle to what we were talking about yesterday mm-hmm. about feeling like people don't see me. Yeah. They look at me like, a deer in headlights. Right. So then I feel, and and I actually have had this feeling my whole life, even when I was a young girl, I think I shared in a podcast before that the only thing I felt truly, truly connected to was nature, Right. right? That's when I felt most at home, but even like trying to connect with people, friends at school or whatever, Mm -hmm. I just felt like an alien, just Mm -hmm. so different because I couldn't find a way to truly belong and feel this connection. Like I can feel it even now in my body Yeah. and my whole life, I've been trying to find this true belonging totally. to, you know, no avail yep. could not yep. to then turning it on myself. Is there something wrong with me? Like, am right. I, am I this alien wacky person? Like coming from, am I ET or something coming uh-huh. from another right. planet? Right. Right. I or so relate I, to what you're saying. That's been really a struggle for me. I'll, and it still is right now today. Cause I'm still trying to figure that out. Like I still kind of go in and say, you know, is there something wrong with me? That's an old limiting belief. That's an old right. tape of, well, it must be me. It must be me that I cannot connect with people, but we're all feeling that, you know, yeah. we're all trying to connect. Right and belong and to truly connect even though we you know because I have similar experiences growing up you know it was always often three people and I was always the one on the outskirts you know yes people would sit in the front of the car and I'd always be in the back seat and be like I don't even know what to say I can't relate to what they're talking about you know and it's not that I I still like them I mean they were friends but I didn't the connection was just like okay this is what it This is the fitting in piece, you know, but then moving forward, that alien piece, the not fitting in, that's the, if we're not going to be vulnerable and have uh, Brené Brown has, you know, the strong back, soft front, wild heart. If we don't have that soft front to be vulnerable and be in the arena, whether or not anyone else shows up, how are we ever going to belong? Because we're not actually letting anyone in. And whether they choose to see us, we can't control that, but that's so hard to reconcile with, I think. That's really hard because as you say that, I'm feeling like my angst level going to (laughs) an eight, nine or 10 (laughs) Mm -hmm. because I'm, 
thinking of a couple of people that I really, um, is the word need or want need? I'm not sure if it's a want or a need. Well, just to be in alignment with what you just said, I think it's a need. I know I need to speak up and be more vulnerable and go in the arena and I can feel the resistance. I feel the resistance like, no, don't do that. No, that that's, that's too, too scary. Don't don't do it. But you're right. Otherwise, how does that person really see me? And they may not be able to see you because they have too many layers and masks anyway. They may not be, it may be too, because I'm sure you've experienced this when I'm too raw, real, whatever, telling it like it is having that strong back. Yeah. um, Oftentimes people are like, I have no idea. They can't relate. They can't understand. I know. Because it's so foreign. It's so much that wilderness that you and I and many, many others have stepped into. It doesn't mean we all yeah. stay there, but we stepped into that wilderness. We've gone through the thorns and the pain and the peeling back the, you know, like, oh my gosh, everything I thought I knew isn't true. I know. And so when we shine a, a light and are that, and someone isn't ready to receive that, then it's that, what is it? The threat of losing your tribe or going alone feels terrifying because it does, you know, and then those people in the inner circle, like you were talking about, you find that strong backbone and you have that soft front and you're completely vulnerable. And if they don't accept you, then what? It's that terrifying. Uh Uh-huh. So, okay. So I love this. So I'm thinking about the path, the prickly path. So, Mm -hmm. and you know, with this person, I definitely have gone, I've gone into the arena Mm-hmm. I've been covered with sweat, blood, and dust. I'm walking into that path. I am just scratched up, cut up from the thorns because I've done it. And I feel myself now pulling back. Yeah. Oh, let me just go this path over here. Mm. Let me just go this path and let me just put on a mask. Let me just keep it light. Let me just like avoid yeah. this stuff over here because I've so scratched up. Will I go back down that path again? Yes, but I'm coming, I'm coming back. I think I'm resting or something. I'm trying to, I need to get my strong back back. So what about, and I don't know, but what about if it's both? I mean, because we do live in a world, right? So we can have our belonging to ourselves our belonging with others in our true tribe, the true belonging. Yes. And so then we're in the arena and we're on that prickly path with all of those, with our belonging, with our true, real tribe. Yep. But we live in a world that is not doing this work on a vast scale. And there's no judgment here for those listening. This is, we're just deconstructing. So if you're listening and you haven't really jumped into the path and been super prickly or in the arena, no judgment. Um, So there's that path and then there's the paved road not a lot of wilderness it's pretty simple right so we can walk along that it's safer it's safer we can hide who we are Mm. and not be vulnerable but there is I feel there's a place for both to some extent I mean are you ready to completely abandon everyone in your life because they're not on that path or are you willing to be like I can show up I can still belong to myself and be in a situation where they can't see me as me or accept me. You know, I, I don't know. Do do, do you hear what I'm saying? I do. I do. And I do. And there are definitely certain people that I can, can, and it's wise for me to stay on that cleared path with them Mm -hmm. and just, you know, because I'm not going to completely abandon them on that path at yeah. this you know, point. So it's completely okay. There's one in particular that I'm thinking of that I know clearly that my reason for not being in the arena is my own fear. Mm-hmm. 
it's terrifying for me yeah. to be disconnected or distanced from this particular person. Yeah. So that's where I know I probably even more so need to, again, mm -hmm. just show up for myself. But where I'm feeling the resistance is I'm still attached mm -hmm. to yeah. that person's response and whether that person rejects me or not rejects me. Because it's deep. Mm -hmm. History. Right. Yep. It's completely. harder when there's history. When there's history. And I'm really more terrified of losing that person. Yeah. Now, when yeah. I get into a place of more strength, mm -hmm. there are times when I do straighten my back up, literally. Yeah. I'm for those that are listening, I'm <laughs> sitting taller now and I'm pulling my shoulders back, yeah. literally. Yeah. At this moment. When I'm able to do that. I'm able to speak up with this person. Mm. And how does that feel? It feels good. And how is the response? Good. Like, um, are you able, you know, depending on, so you're feeling empowered, you're feeling truly yourself. Yeah. I, yes. And, and I speak my truth. And so you may be met with listening or you may be met with resistance. And so can you navigate whatever shows up in those moments or does it um, vary? It varies. It varies. Um, sometimes it is just kind of like met with kind of a blank stare. Sometimes there's a little bit of resistance at first, but for the most part, I'm okay. I, mm -hmm. I do not, I'm okay in those moments when I, my, when I have my strong back, it's See? because I have a conversation with myself or there's a, a dialogue going on that almost is like, I don't care. And it's not that I don't care, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, no. but what's more important in those moments is valuing my true self right. that I know that deep within me that I need to speak up and be true to myself, to thy own self, be true mm -hmm. is what I need to do in those moments. And you're so in your belonging of you. Yeah. That's that when we own who we are and we truly yeah. step into that, there's nothing like it. There's not, it's so empowering. Mm -hmm. And it it's is, not that you're rejecting the other or like, don't no, care. No, no, I, it's not that at all. That's your soft front. That's where you have the, like, yes. okay, they can't see me and I'm okay with that because I see me. Yeah. That's a beautiful place to be. That is a, it that's is. the sweet spot. How do you get in the, like, if you play tennis, there's a sweet spot on the racket when you just hit the ball just right, like, I don't know how to get in the sweet spot more because let's, let's deconstruct that. What is it <clears throat> that's going on and at play when I'm afraid to go in the arena versus when I have my strong front and I do go in the arena? <clears throat> what are your thoughts? Thoughts are a big one. What masks are you wearing? What stories are you yeah. telling yourself? Cause you're not in your self-care, are you balancing yep. your body, mind, and spirit? I mean, there's so many things that can come into play. Are there external factors that are influencing your inner knowing, your inner belonging? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I do, because when all of that stuff is those thoughts and those beliefs and the lack of self-care, the lack of balance, if my backpack isn't balanced, yeah. all that is chipping away at my energy, my aura. Right. So then I slip more into this thought belief of this quote mm -hmm. that if I go into the wilderness with this person, right. and this person rejects me completely. It, it'll be terrifying to mm -hmm. lose that connection. Right. And then you're all alone with this unknown and uncertainty and the bear lurking yep. behind the tree yep. or whatever. Yep. It's so fast. Or the tribe now. leaving the tribe, leaving me behind. Yeah. And not wanting to, um, but on the other hand, see, and then I, I feel and hear it, but what is it that I have anyway? If it's all fake exactly. and with masks, what is that? That's right. not true belonging and it's fitting in it's fitting in and it's, it's inauthentic. Fitting. It's very inauthentic in this particular situation. It's very mm -hmm. inauthentic at times. And so then you can even take that wider view and then you're really abandoning yourself. Very much so. Very much so. And mm -hmm. then 
if I, and then when I abandon myself or any of us, when we abandon ourselves in that way, and we're not feeling connected to our true North, right. then in order, because that feeling of disconnection of being cut off is so um, like uncomfortable. So not okay. It's like the, the pain it's painful. Mm-hmm. And then to push the pain back down, we go to our too much behaviors, Exactly. too much TV, too much. I watched election stuff till 1230 last night. I never, I've never done that almost to one o'clock in the morning. I was like, what am I doing? I have not yet <laughs> once watched the news. Interesting. At all since all this started and last really? night, I watched until almost one in the morning. It was a, too much TV, too much news, <laughs> too much blah. And it's like nothing is changing right now. I know. And it's it so too. So, but it yeah. still can suck you in because it's a distraction. Oh my God. It was a distraction. So it that's right. So and, something and that's was right. rumbling in you. There was something rumbling and I felt it and I knew mm. I could feel the Oh, Brene Brown calls them the gremlins. I could feel the gremlins. And I was like, no, I'm not paying attention to you right now. So I'm going to distract. And it's whether we distract with watching the news or wine or cookies or Rocky Road ice cream or cigarettes or drugs. It doesn't- Or a warm, ooey gooey chocolate thing. Warm, ooey gooey (laughs) chocolate. Yes. Just just distract so I don't have to, you know, feel Mm -hmm. those gremlins. And they were were there. But then there's also the time where sometimes- that we need to just distract because we don't have yeah. the energy. And then we may just, yes. dis- we may react to those gremlins in an unhealthy, an unhealthier way. Cause yes. I know, I mean, I've had experiences where I'm like, I have to just shut down for the next, tw- I need to give myself permission yeah. to shut down for 24 hours or however long, but I give myself that time limit of like, okay, you can just avoid, but you're avoiding to build up your strength. So I can, yeah, you know, watch election covers or whatever is showing up on a show or bury myself in a stupid book or something, you know, like not a self-help book, but like a complete detachment from reality, which are great too. So, I mean, there's a healthy balance with everything, but I can mindfully choose to do that. Like, okay, you're just going to disconnect and recharge but so make sure you do some stuff to recharge so then i can return and revisit these gremlins that are there because they're not going to go away yes but if we need to build up our strength so maybe you just needed to build up your strength last night or were you intentionally avoid was it like Um, i can't deal with it or i need to just disconnect for a little bit so i can yeah because i think when we when we recorded yesterday about the vulnerability and you know being Mm. in the arena and here's the thing when you're doing this work you can open yourself up a lot your energetic self so i i was definitely felt like i was cracked open so there's a lot of that so i i think that it was more of a just i need to just disconnect Mm. i never expected to stay hooked on the news until almost one in the morning, but it was just like, okay, I was aware that I felt the gremlins, but it was late at night and I knew Mm -hmm. it was not the time to address the gremlins. So I think it was more of a conscious thing at that Mm -hmm. point. Um, so yeah, but it's, it's a good point that you bring in to do the back and forth. Sometimes you can consciously disconnect and distract yourself as long as there's a time when you are bringing in the true nurturing of body, mind, and spirit. Yeah. And you have to revisit and it's not, I'm putting it in a box, putting a lock on it and never revisiting it again. It's like, no, I'm going to come back. (laughs) I'm going to journal or I'm going to do whatever I need to do to revisit it. It doesn't mean we find our answers. I mean, we know this, we don't always, it's not like there's this magic answer that solves all of this. Well, I can fully belong to myself all the time and never worry about anything. Right. It's, we're that simple. But I see, I'm so glad you brought that in because that goes full circle to what I was saying this morning before we started recording that there is this piece of me mm-hmm. that isn't having an, having the right amount of self-compassion because there is a dialogue that's going on in my mind of, I should, I should be getting this by now. Like what is, you know, we mm-hmm. talked yesterday about a particular teaching tool. And I completely went, (laughs) fell into the trap of what we were teaching instead of learning from the tool. And I watched the inner dialogue of, well, how come you don't, you know, almost if I really, really, really listen to that inner dialogue voice, it's like, 
what's wrong with you, Kim? Mm -hmm. You should know this by now. You should get this. You and you teach should teach this. You, you are, teach this. Yeah. That you story. should do it perfectly and all the time. And I also can see where I do it with other people in my life too, where I'm wanting them to grow and change. And it's like when they can't be where I want them to be and I'm in resistance to where they are and not accepting mm -hmm. the as is, yes. like, you know, like, come on, come on, just better. please, please, you just, just do better. So I don't have right. to worry or whatever, right. you know, and it was all of this going on. And so there's a, it's awareness. So yes. I can watch that it's happening. That that's, what's different. I'm no longer it where I used to be. Like I used to think I was the waves. Now I can watch the waves Huge. and I know that on the ocean, and right now it feels like the waves are pretty big. Like there's a big storm brewing right now, right? If we're using that analogy. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> and every now and then a little bit, I get caught in the wave. You know how when a big wave comes and it pulls you under? Yeah, you have no right? control. No control, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes, oh my God, the worst feeling, we, I know we talked about this before, but the worst <laughs> feeling in the world is being taken by a wave and tossed. I used to hate that feeling. Oh, that was so scary. So scary. I didn't know if I was ever going to come up. Like, yeah. please let me come up for air, yeah. right? I'm not oh ready to gosh. die yet. <laughs> I'm not ready to die. And yet I go back out, you know, this is when I'm a kid. Like, let me go get the next wave now, right. you know? Right. So, but I realized that these are just waves right now and I am still the ocean. So that's what's different mm -hmm. now. And I know you it's have huge. this too, right? It's you can huge. the awareness. So right. it's just bringing in a little bit more of, if we also want to say that the soft front is also some compassion, right? To, to ourselves. To ourselves not and just the out, other. Yeah, not just the other, but to ourselves as well. Yeah, more so right now, I'm needing a lot of it for myself. And then yeah. when I can have it for myself, I can have it for others because that's like the ox oxygen right. mask. If I'm giving myself all of this self-compassion mm -hmm. and just like, okay, this is where I am right now. Exactly. And that's okay. And then that's where this one is right now. Right. That's where this one's at right now. And maybe mm -hmm. even sharing that, like, I know it's hard, you know, right now and, and it's okay. All of it is okay. Right. Because right. what I'm really feeling is that myself and the others are not going to be able to get, come up for air from that wave. Like, I feel like we're all being tossed and we're not going to come up, but that's not true. We're going to come up. Right. And that's gonna that come. whole full circle of being alone. If they don't come up and I do, yeah. then what? I know. Or then, am I going to have is... to go in and save them and put their life yeah. jackets on and fix and make everything better? I know, but I can't. No, I can't do that. Hard. All I can do is save my, is save myself. But you're right. Because what's terrifying is that this belonging piece, if I come up, and they don't, mm -hmm. or you toss a life preserver to them and they choose not to take it. Yeah. And they drown. Metaphorically speaking. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Then, then what? Right? It's the what ifs, then what? And then it's witnessing others suffering. Yeah. Like knowing we can't save them. And that's and a, we're alone. And we're alone. And that's a very vulnerable place to be. Mm -hmm. like to right. be with the uncertainty right right because vulnerability has a few meanings it is emotional exposure it is the courage to take risk but there's yeah. also the the uncertainty when not being able to predict the future or what's going to happen mm -hmm. is being vulnerable like Brene Brown always uses the example you're waiting you just went and had a, a biopsy right. on your breast waiting for the answer right that's vulnerability Huge. You don't know if you're going to get that call from the doctor and says, uh, yes, by the way, I'm sorry to tell you, you have stage three breast cancer, right? Like waiting and waiting for that call is being vulnerable, right? So watching our loved ones or whoever, and they're getting caught in the waves and we send the life preserver and they're not taking it mm -hmm. is, is vulnerable because I have no mm -hmm. idea you have no mm -hmm. idea none of us have any clue no. where they're going if they're going to come up and learn how to swim 
Right. Or if that wave is just going to take them. Exactly. Because then what? I know. So then when I have my strong back, I'm putting, I'm sitting up tall again for those that are listening because <laughs> it's a back and forth. It's so funny it how my body throughout this episode is taking on <laughs> totally and morphing back and forth. But when I have my strong back, it comes back to when I tell myself that I have amazing, phenomenal yes. coping skills. Yes. I have amazing, phenomenal coping <laughs> skills. I can and will get through 100%. whatever life brings me. And just like the quote I shared on my Facebook a few days ago, that every crisis, it's the Chinese proverb, that every crisis or problem, if you look at it, has a gift in it. Totally. And if I look at everything that is happening in the last couple of days that I feel like are big waves, yeah. if I look for it, I can find the gift or I can find the opportunity. That zero point, um, the zero point duality again, right? And when you think about it, that strong back yes. is in the middle yes. of either or. It's bad, good. You know, the things that are scary, where's the lesson? Where's the gift? Yeah. It's right here right in the middle mm -hmm. when we belong it, to ourselves, yes then we can ride that wave and we do have to feel right when we're yeah, at totally. zero point it's feeling whatever is coming up so it's yes not being numb so i think we talked about that before just bringing in that reminder it's neutral but not numb so you can feel pain you can feel the sadness you can feel whatever and you can have an opinion and have an opinion yes and you can voice it. Exactly. It doesn't mean you just sit there and like, don't take action, but you're taking action, making a choice, yeah. just like you're talking about what you're talking about. You're making a choice, but you're making it from a place of it's not bad or it just, I'm in alignment. I'm authentic. And I'm making this choice from an authentic place without attachment. Without the attachment and the expectations. Yeah. Just letting go. Mm -hmm. Live and let live. That's right. Yep. Just live Ooh. and let live. Wow. Listen, we said it. It's this work is not for the weary by no. any stretch of the imagination. No. Um, it takes a lot, but, but and so it takes a tribe. It. It's so yes. worth it. And it does take a tribe. So that's why we are creating this space for one another and for mm -hmm. others as well, because mm -hmm. it does help. Yeah. And that's why we're doing our courses too. Yeah. So you're not alone. I know. It's there's, we, there's still, we're, where are we in the middle of our course? People too late to sign up, right? Where it's never it's too late. late. Yeah. Never too late for to Let's sign up. Can, yeah. Exactly. And all these courses, we're going through them live, but they're all, they're yes. always going to be available too. Yes, so, exactly. You know, and, and we will be available to support you, not to the same level when it's yeah. live, but you know, you have a question. We're here for you. We don't, Absolutely. We don't want you to be in that arena and feel unsupported. Completely. As you start to build that strong back, that authenticity within yourself. Yeah. Because, you know, this is, yeah. this is important work. And the more the more we can help and support and guide others, it ripples out. It certainly does. It totally yeah. We would ripples. love to be able to support in any way if we can, for Definitely. sure. Just let us know. Definitely. Because yes. Yeah, so thank you so much for listening. Strong back. Strong back. <laughs> strong back. Off front. Yep, exactly. So thank you so much. Um, please remember if you're willing to like, comment, or subscribe. And if you're able and willing and leave us a review, we would love to have that as well. <clears throat> Thanks so much. And just get in the arena, get in the wilderness. Yep, absolutely. Have a great one, everyone. Bye.